There's something strange happening in the sky. One of the stars that we see every night is behaving in a way that we've never seen before. And it's not just any star. It's a red giant that is about to die. In this episode, we'll be discussing the recent news that has challenged our understanding of stellar evolution. The news, which was reported this week, utilized data from various telescopes to investigate the behavior of Betelgeuse, a red giant star that marks the shoulder of Orion the Hunter. According to the news, Betelgeuse has been fluctuating wildly in brightness recently, when it underwent a significant dimming event that was caused by a cloud of dust obscuring the star. Surprisingly, Betelgeuse has now become unusually bright, reaching 142% of its normal luminosity for the first time. What is causing these wild fluctuations? Is Betelgeuse preparing for its final act? And what would happen if it did go supernova? These are some of the questions we're going to answer in this video, so stay tuned and get ready to be amazed by the secrets of Betelgeuse. One of the most fascinating stars in our galaxy is Betelgeuse, the giant red star that marks the shoulder of Orion the Hunter. It stands as the 10th brightest star in our night sky. However, Betelgeuse has been acting very weird, dimming and brightening dramatically, and astronomers are on the edge of their seats to find out what's going on. Red giants are stars that have reached the end of their life cycle. They have burned through most of their hydrogen fuel and started to fuse helium into heavier elements. As a result, they expand and cool down, becoming larger and redder. But Betelgeuse is not just any red giant. It's a supergiant, one of the largest and most luminous stars in the universe. It's so big that if you replace the sun with Betelgeuse, it would engulf Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and even Jupiter. It's so bright that it can be seen with the naked eye from over 700 light years away. But Betelgeuse is also a mystery. It's a variable star which means its brightness changes over time. And it has two main cycles, one that lasts about six years and another that lasts about 400 days. But in 2019, something strange happened. Betelgeuse started to dim dramatically, losing almost 25% of its brightness in a matter of months. This event, known as the Great Dimming, puzzled astronomers and sparked rumors that Betelgeuse was about to explode in a spectacular supernova. But then, in 2020, Betelgeuse bounced back and regained its normal brightness. And now, in 2023, it's doing something even more surprising. It's getting brighter than ever before, reaching 142% of its usual luminosity. So what is behind Betelgeuse's weird behavior? Well, there are several possible explanations, but none of them are conclusive yet. Let's take a look at some of them. It could be that Betelgeuse is simply going through its normal cycles of brightness variation. As we mentioned before, Betelgeuse has two main cycles. These cycles are caused by changes in the star's surface temperature and convection currents that move hot and cold gas around. Sometimes these cycles can overlap and interfere with each other, resulting in more or less brightness than expected. It could also be that Betelgeuse is experiencing changes in its magnetic field, Magnetic fields can affect how stars emit light and heat. They can also create spots on the star's surface that are cooler or hotter than the surrounding areas. These spots can change over time and cause variations in brightness. Another possibility is that Betelgeuse is surrounded by dust and gas that can block or reflect some of its light. Dust and gas can be produced by the star itself, as it sheds its outer layers in powerful stellar winds. They can also come from other sources, such as nearby stars or interstellar clouds. Depending on the amount and distribution of dust and gas, they can make Betelgeuse appear dimmer or brighter. And finally, it could be that Betelgeuse is undergoing some internal changes that affect its structure and stability. Betelgeuse is a very old star that has almost run out of fuel to burn. It's currently fusing helium into carbon and oxygen in its core, but eventually it will run out of helium too. When that happens, the core will collapse and trigger a supernova explosion. But before that, the star may undergo some pre-supernova stages, such as pulsations, eruptions, or instabilities that can alter its brightness. These are some of the possible causes of Betelgeuse's fluctuations, but there may be others that we don't know yet. Astronomers are still observing and analyzing the star to find out more clues and answers. But the question that everyone is asking is, 
Will Beetlejuice go supernova soon? And if so, when and how? Well, the short answer is, we don't know for sure. But the long answer is, probably not in our lifetime. Beetlejuice is definitely on the brink of death in cosmic timescales, but on human timescales, it's still a long way to go. Astronomers estimate that Betelgeuse is about 8 to 8.5 million years old, which is very young for a star. But because it's so massive, it has burned through its fuel much faster than smaller stars like the Sun. It's now in the final stages of its life, but it could still last for another 100,000 years or more before it goes supernova. Of course, there is some uncertainty in these estimates, and there is always a chance that Betelgeuse could surprise us and explode sooner than expected. But based on what we know so far, it's unlikely that Betelgeuse will go supernova in the near future. However, if Betelgeuse did go supernova, it would be an amazing sight to behold. Betelgeuse is one of the closest stars to Earth that can go supernova, and it would be one of the brightest events in history. It would be visible in broad daylight and outshine the full moon at night. It would last for weeks or months, gradually fading away. It would also produce a spectacular nebula of gas and dust that would glow for thousands of years. But don't worry, Betelgeuse's supernova would not harm us in any way. Even though it's close by cosmic standards, it's still far enough away to not affect us physically. The radiation and shock wave from the explosion would be too weak to reach us or damage our planet. The only effect we would notice would be a change in the appearance of the night sky. So what does Betelgeuse's weird behavior mean for us? Well, even if it doesn't go supernova soon, it still offers us a unique opportunity to learn more about stars and their evolution. Betelgeuse is also a valuable source of information about the history and future of our galaxy. By studying its chemical composition and motion, we can trace its origin and evolution. By predicting its fate and impact, we can imagine what our galaxy will look like when it explodes. Betelgeuse is more than just a star. It's a cosmic laboratory, a galactic landmark, and a celestial wonder. It's a star that challenges our understanding and inspires our curiosity. It's a star that deserves our attention and admiration. So there you have it. The secrets of Betelgeuse revealed. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about this amazing star. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we upload new content.